실종 전에 송영호를 애타게 찾은 한 사람이 있었거든요. 그게 누구입니까? 지평건설 사장 하도영. 명함까지 지어주면서 눈빛이 엄청 막 흔들렸달까? 달래울 빼. 아니, 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 the first episode Sunshine, of Disney. So today I'm going to be doing part the first episode of part 2 of The Glory so I've previously done part 1 on my channel I'll link the playlist somewhere and you can go and watch them if you want um, In those videos I was doing 2 episodes per video I'm going to change that to one, video, 1 episode per video purely because my computer has decided that it just can't handle the absolute just like incredibleness of my content and what I'm producing at the moment and it just can't cope so it just it just doesn't have the storage for it um yeah my laptop shit to be honest so the end of the last episode which I watched quite a while ago um Yunjin Yunjin is that her name or is that am I getting confused with tomorrow by together Yunjin, not Yunjin, Yunjin, um, she walked into Dongan's flat, which she discovered is next to her house, and found all of her, like, you know, planning, I guess. Her husband found out, like, what she's really like, what she's really, like, been up to, like, like her bullying past, all that kind of shit. Um, and there's a lot of tension as well building with him and Jae Jun about, is it Hazel? Yunjin's daughter. And also we found out that Yeonjin, Yeonjin did kill the the guy who looks like he doesn't shower. <laughs> Probably a lot more than that happened, but you know, I can't remember. I didn't really want this to be a long intro, but I just wanted to quickly touch upon the fact that my YouTube videos are supposed to come out every Wednesday. Um, they haven't been recently, it's been all over the place because YouTube is like being really funny with copyright at the moment, with me. And it's really frustrating, and even videos that are finally getting released are I believe potentially getting shadow banded just because they're getting like considerably less views than they normally do um, or maybe people just don't want to watch me anymore that's fine if you do see this video um, then if you please could interact with it just interact with it in some way like it comment whatever and just say like that you this came up on your timeline or you got a notification to say that I posted or just something just so I know that these videos are actually reaching people because it takes a long time to put these videos together do you know what I mean and I put them out for people to watch so if people aren't watching them if they're not coming through then I, I would like to know um so thanks for that yeah <sighs> I just want to say, sorry, I know it's like barely started, but I think what I love about the show is the way it's structured. Because like, he got killed, I don't even know what episode it was, but it was fairly early on. And the fact we're now only seeing kind of, you know, a little bit more about what happened, I think it's really cool because we've been waiting like, not a ridiculous amount of time, but it's like, they didn't give us that information straight away. Um, and it keeps you hooked, do you know what I mean? Like the unanswered questions keep you hooked. Um, and I think it's really skillful to be able to keep your audience waiting for the right amount of time because obviously you don't want to annoy your audience by not revealing the information but you also don't want to just reveal it too quickly because then it's like you know and then it kind of takes away the stakes and the conflict and stuff so I like that like I like the way it's structured <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Why is he wearing a hundred coats? Oh my god, 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 oh
정신 새끼야 뭐라는 거야? I don't understand why he's got ten coats on. I don't get it. Am I being really dumb? 어, 네 여보세요. 적가세요. 허락만 해주면 나 언제든 간다. 어? 그러니까 전화 다 돌렸는데 와 이것들이 다 아주 눈도 깜짝 안 하는데? 연진이는 약속 잡았어? 말안 할게. 장수하고 싶으면 명찰 놔줘라. 동훈아. 그 you know I was too busy thinking about why he had so many coats on that I wasn't even paying attention. Um, maybe it's because he's supposed to be going to Russia and it's quite cold in Russia, isn't it? I'm gonna have to rewind it because I wasn't listening. That was another thing we found out in the last episode, a couple of episodes, was that um, the girl who was pushed off the roof, she had Yunjin's name tag in her hand. The <laughs> He's watching them. She's a fucking junior, isn't she though? She's an icon. Pogoni no hokum poking and job. Isso. Look at her face. She is an incredible actress, this woman. Like I fucking hate her. But look at the like malice in her eyes. <laughs> 그냥 사이가 안 좋았던 거야. 여기서 오빠를 마주쳐서 실망한 건 나야. 오빠가. 음. He's thinking, holy shit, who did I marry? <laughs> He's flabbergasted. Going back a tiny bit, I really like that when they had the dialogue scene between um, Yunjin and her husband, that like it was complete silence. Like there was no background music, not even any like ambient sound. It was literally just them and their dialogue. I just thought that was really effective. And you can't take your eyes off them, and you can't think of anything else. You can't notice anything else because it's just them. Really like close up shots as well, and it just makes it even more like intense. I think that's really cool. Why 작보하신 원장님께서 지시하신 사항이거든요. 아버지가요? That's weird. I like how the stories, even the characters are like, don't inadvertently, I don't know if that's the right word, but they don't like, have like an immediate connection to Dongan and like, what went on in her past, and like her and obviously the bullies. But like, for example, the doctor and Yunjin, Yunjin's husband, Yun, Yunjin's husband um, how their individual stories are also like connecting to the situation, if that makes sense. I speak about this in my XO Kitty video, which I don't know if that would have come out by before this because it's so currently in, co in copyright hell. But I talk about in that how like the side characters are actually characters and they're not just like plot devices and, and sort of they're purely for the lead characters kind of. Um, goals and, and uh, wants and needs and all that kind of stuff um, and it's same here like the characters are characters they're people they've got their own shit going on the way to make side characters feel more real and feel more like they belong in the story is to give them their own fucking stories you know um, obviously it's not not to sh overshine the main plot and the main character of course not but just something that gives them a little bit more than just they're a side character you know what I'm saying? That's so amazing. Imagine living there when there's like a storm. How like relaxing would that be? Imagine 
아유 이렇게 바로 확인 사살을 <웃음> 진짜네요 진짜요? <웃음> 아, and I just felt that in between like all the kind of drama and the like the suspense and everything and the pretty dark themes there is some like funny little dialogue moments where you kind of are reminded that like you know they're people they're like human beings these little like I guess you call it like banterous moments are obviously pretty common in human communication and stuff so can you connection not communication and yeah i just like that and it also gives you like just a little bit a little bit a little bit of a break from all the drama and stuff because as much as i love drama and conflict like i'm not a slow burn type of gal but it is nice to have that little bit of a break um where you just see the characters being like themselves and i guess seeing like in this case seeing like a more jokey happy side of the characters it's just nice it's a nice um contrast i guess <laughs> 이 생각도 그래? 씨발. 난가. 아, 너또 뭐한 신동질 하려. 이 생각에. I have all the side characters. Um, she's my like or I guess antagonist as well. She's my like I'm least interested in her. And I'm not sure if that's just because that's just the way I am and I'm just her story and her kind of whatever is like least interesting to me or if enough time hasn't been spent with her or on her if that makes sense like for me she's just a crackhead artist do you know what i mean and i'm kind of like meh obviously most time spent with um Yun, yunjin and her husband and stuff and then um jaejin with obviously all the the affair the um baby situation and then with the other girl i don't know her name um, I actually find her really fascinating with how she's always kind of in the shadow of Yeonjin, always thrives to be better than Yeonjin. Yeah, I find her really intriguing. Her, just not so much. Samra, that's her name. Samra, I just, I'm like, yeah. I don't know, I kind of hope we find a little bit more about her in this series. That little bitch. Um, I just want to say that I really like the contrast between her talking on the telly and her behind the camera like this is um what's her name? Yunjin signing off and then like then when she's just like what are we waiting for like just the difference it's just astounding but it really represents her like in like so well her kind of ability to be like a fucking bitch but then also hide that <laughs> oh, that's such a great like that'd be such a great kind of revenge do you know what i mean to have yeonjin actually actually go to the police herself and and admit to everything i feel like that would be like the biggest kind of torture for her like having to do that and having to admit to her wrongs do you know what i mean oh that'd be so good i just can't the dialogue is so good like I'm just like sat here like just like waiting like really impatiently to find out what she's gonna say next do you know what I mean that's how good the dialogue is and it's just not cringy like it's dramatic and it's you know at times slightly over the top but like in the best way possible like it's not cringy and it's really hard I think to kind of write that kind of dialogue you know which borders on 
it could be cringy but it's not because it's so well written and it's so well acted like that's a really big part as well the way it's acted the way everything's put together is a big fucking part in not making it cringy it's just so good <laughs> 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 so manipulative. I will. Look at her face. Look how evil she is. I mean, she's absolutely fantastic, the actress, though. Can we just take a minute? Like, I don't know who she is, I don't know what her name is, but she's amazing. She's fucking phenomenal. But like, the self-control Dongan has, because if that was me, I'd be like, cross the table, right in the fucking face. <laughs> like, there's just no chance I would be sat there just calmly like, nah. <laughs> I would have, I'd be on that table. But also what I think is really skillful is that this is like a long scene, right, between the two of them. Let's just see how long it's been going on for. So it started about 18 minutes. We're now almost at 22. So that's like, what, four minutes? To keep your audience engaged during a scene that's like relatively long like this is like really fucking hard and the fact I'm like so engaged in this like I could happily watch 10 more minutes of this confrontation and that's solely because we spent how many eight episodes kind of building up to this you know what I mean like building up to like a proper conversation between the two of them um obviously we've had small interactions prior to this um but I think the time that's been spent building up you know showing us all the the past everything like that and then we're getting this moment and it's like you don't want to look away and the scene's been going on for four minutes it doesn't feel like it's been going on for four minutes but it has and it's literally just those two talking but you're so hooked into it because of the setup and it's paying off wow gorgeous get lost oh that's also such a like childlike thing to say isn't it like you know when you're in school and you're like get lost like like that is the sort of thing that like high school bullies would say and the fact that she's saying it and her face like they're just like get lost like i feel like it's purposely supposed to come across like a high schooler you know like a mean girl oh my god just too good guys. I actually am getting a headache. I feel like I need to take a break. I need a cup of tea. Like I need to lie down. <laughs> She's fucking terrified. I could just tell but Yunjun. Why are you calling her Yunjun? It's a TXT effect, clearly. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Like, oh, isn't he just the sweetest thing ever? I can't go. <laughs> I might be like reading too much into it but I also think like this bit with the like tent and stuff and it almost looks like a den and like I don't know about you guys but I used to always make dens when I was a kid like especially for, with like sleepovers we'd like build a little den some fairy lights like pillows you know and that's what that looks like and I think because her childhood was such like a traumatic time for her and she missed out on so much 
because of like being bullied and obviously being fucking depressed because of that i think these little like hints toward this like little hint towards like that kind of the comfort of ch childhood that every child deserves to experience is really like like sweet bittersweet i guess <laughs> I'm a genius. Yeah, because she's like talking about the home that she did grow up in. I'm a fucking genius, what the hell? good like well-written character like she's such a heinous bitch like, look at her face i just can't get over how just like disgusting she is do you know what i mean and how the writers just make you fucking hate her <laughs> I just love her so much. I just want the absolute best for her and her daughter. I really do. Kind of wish maybe, I don't know her name, but that absolute fucking icon that we just saw on screen. I wish like she was in, included like a little bit more in this episode. Um, just because it's, I've had a little break since I watched part one. And honestly, she hadn't even crossed my mind, which is crazy because she is like my favorite fucking character. Like she's a fucking queen. Um, and yeah, I kind of wish she was included a little bit more. And I also wish we kind of had more of an update on like her husband because I swear, unless I fucking misunderstood this, the right at the beginning, she agreed to help Dongun in return for Dongun killing her husband, right? But like, wh where's that going? Like, what's happening with that? Is that something that will happen after Dong has got a revenge? Like, I'm just a bit confused. I wish I was just a little bit more about that because, yeah, I'm a bit lost. Oh, Okay, this is such a like random thing to point out, but look, I survived against the five of you, and then she's sitting in front of uh, washing machines, and there's five, and they're all facing her. Like, I don't know, that's just like, that's just really, that's gotta be intentional, surely. Now that's cool, right? Okay, so I have a real pet peeve and it's doing it right now and I'm pissed off. So this show, I, uh, it's, it's, it's yet to make me cringe and yet to annoy me, but that's annoyed me. I have a real issue when characters talk out loud. Like, the thing is, right, I talk to myself, like, I'll be in the house and I'm like, oh, I'll just, um, I'll put this washing in here, I'll, I'll just cook some dinner, like, I'll speak like that, I think that's pretty normal, but to, like, talk out loud like that, no way, I just need Yin Jin to take the bait, like, that's so unrealistic, that's a thought, and that's fine, but obviously they want us to know his thoughts, and therefore they're having him say his thoughts out loud, and I just fucking hate that because I just think it's unrealistic for people to do that um, and it really winds me up 
so yeah it's kind of triggered me a bit i won't lie 네가 오늘 나안 만나잖아 그럼 내가 내일 너 방송국으로 간다 궁금하다 너 하시지 못해 green shoes <웃음> I swear to God, she better not hurt that fucking icon because. <laughs> I actually couldn't cope with that. Not my favourite character, please. Also, for some reason, in like the first episode, couple of episodes, I was referring to her as Yunjin's maid. I was convinced. I don't know why I thought that. Isn't that weird? That is the end of the first episode of season two. Obsessed, as per usual. The dialogue is just fucking perfect. Like it's dramatic but not over the top not cringy it's just so well written i'm just so jealous <laughs> um the uh, literally the only criticisms i have is that i wish there was a little bit more involvement from whom i thought was yunjin's maid i don't know her name but my personal favorite character i just think she's hilarious her and like her husband her daughter um, specifically in this episode, I just wish they'd been included just a little bit more at the beginning as well just to kind of tie it in nicely with the ending there because that ending was really fucking good. And my only other criticism was the tiny bit of like talking out loud, uh, thinking out loud with um, the guy who went missing. Again, don't know his name. But apart from that, it was perfect. It was so fucking perfect. Oh my god. I literally can't stop sighing. I look like such an idiot but it was just really good. Okay, I'm gonna end the video um, because I don't really have anything else to say. I just, I, I need to have a cup of tea and have a lie down, I think. I will be back hopefully next week, but who the fuck knows at this point. Um, YouTube just does whatever the fuck it likes with my videos. But I'll be back next week. I recently put up a poll about like what um, you guys wanna see reactions to, so you can go over there and vote on that poll if you like. Currently, I think the glory is winning, so good job I'm filming this. Stranger from Strangers from Hell has got a few votes and so has Island. Um, so yeah, just if you want to go over and vote, you can just go over to my community page on my, don't know if that's even coming up, just head over to my community page on my channel and you can vote. And yeah, um, I'm going to go, have a nice day, evening, morning, whatever time you're watching this. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye for now. What the fuck? I've literally never said that in my life.